I thought I can give her a good home. So here she is. We saw them and saw them together in the kennel playing and that was it. Pretty much love at first sight, but it was for me. <laughs> Her name's Daisy. She's nearly 13. We go out at five o'clock. That time in the morning, it's nice and cool. You can hear the birds singing. It's just lovely. I would never get up that time of the morning. But I think if you walk with a dog, you've got that companionship. She's such a big part of my life. She makes me laugh so much. She's very nosy, very inquisitive, very hungry <laughs> all the time. She likes to chase stones on the beach. We'll go out and we'll swim across Goodrington Bay. I think it's a little bit unusual. I don't see any other dogs swimming lengths and he does get quite a bit of attention for it. It's brilliant. It's one of my favourite ways to start the day. Once we've come back from swimming, he'll sit in the office with me and sit next to the desk and fall asleep and I can carry on writing throughout the day. A lot of my books have got dogs in, so I do get a lot of inspiration from him. I cannot imagine life without him. So this is Scout, and Sadie is, I believe, below, below me somewhere. We've only had them a short time, three weeks, so they're still getting to know us, and we're still getting to know them. They really are a joy. They love to go around the woods, looking at everything, and just loving people, basically. They just love people and playing. We did try without a dog for about three days. I came home from work and said, I can't handle this. She fits right in with our mad family and how we are and what we do and she's very loving. She loves cuddles all the time. She's spot on everything we wanted. Probably her worst characteristic is if you don't keep an eye on her, she'll get up on the side and she might nick some food. You kind of feel like you're missing something. She's absolutely made our family complete, to be fair. Yeah, we couldn't, couldn't be without her, I don't think, now. Goat says it all, doesn't he? You know, look at me, I'm chilled, I'm happy, I'm in a new home. What more do you want? They don't ask for much, do they? As long as we're together, we're happy. I think rescuing dogs is, is really important. It's important to kind of give them a, a second chance and give them their forever homes. The kennels we've got at the moment are okay. It's hard to keep them cool in the summer. It's hard to keep warm in the winter. We'd also like quiet kennels so the dogs can relax a bit more. We'd also like a living room area so the dogs can get used to that home environment. All in all, just make it a nicer, stressless place for the dogs in our care. Our dogs give Forever Homes so much. It's only fair that we give them the best start while they're here at Animals in Distress. Please help us build new kennels for our dogs. Sorry. Ruby's my best friend. <laughs> <laughs>